As gas prices soar across Metro Detroit, some drivers are also dealing with predatory, predatory towing. Just last month, one woman received a sky-high towing bill after a massive pileup along I-696. Now, 7 investigator Ross Jones broke the story. And this morning, our Alicia Smith is finding out what you can do to protect yourself against these greedy practices and what you should ask your insurance agent. Whiteout conditions triggered that terrible pile up February 6th. You just heard one thump after another after another and you just seen vehicles going every which way. Kelly Rockwell made the news not for being in the wreck, but for what happened after it. She was slapped with a whopper of a tow bill, $9,048. The tow driver just walked up to our car, asked if we wanted him to get us out and we said yes because we assumed that they were with the police. But MSP says that was not the case. After Rockwell talked with 7 investigator Ross Jones, her insurance told her that the company cut the towing bill down to $2,500. But when it comes to towing, whether you're in an accident or not, don't assume it's covered in your car insurance. Do most regular coverage insurance plans cover the cost of towing after an accident? Only if you have coverage comp and collision. So generally speaking, towing is not going to be something on the insurance policy unless you pay extra for it. Dan Schrock with the Auto Club Group AAA in Dearborn says you need to talk with your insurance agent to find out if you have any gaps in your coverage. Some people opt to pay for roadside assistance on top of their insurance. AAA offers it for $56 a year. If police have already called a towing company, then it's your choice. Complaints over outrageous towing charges aren't new. Remember the flooding last June? Some drivers who had to abandon their vehicles were hit with $500 to $700 towing charges. How much did they charge you? $639. Attorney General Dana Nessel issued a consumer alert about unlawful towing and unreasonable fees. If you want to challenge if your vehicle was properly towed or your bill, including storage fees, you have to file a petition for a court hearing in an appropriate district court, one that has jurisdiction over the location of the tow. You have to file within 20 days from the date on the notice your vehicle was towed as abandoned. If the court finds the vehicle was improperly towed, the AG's office says you'll be reimbursed for the towing and storage fees and your abandoned vehicle will be returned. After an accident, if police directed a tow, you can complain to that police agency. You can also file a complaint with Michigan Attorney General's Consumer Protection Division. As always, don't waste your money. I'm Alicia Smith, 7 Action News.